Hello and welcome to Tiger Bites. I'm Jay and this is Tim. Hi Jay. Hello. Uh, look at our shirts. Look at our jazzy new shirts. Uh, Tiger Bites is where you, we get to address your comments and feedback from all of our shows on YouTube, your comments from Facebook, Instagram, as well as the Tiger Talk forum, and all the videos that you've been sending us at bites at the tiger.com. That's B-I-T-E-S, bites at the tiger.com. I um, think uh, some of the people haven't quite got the idea of what we're trying to do with the bites. They, yes. they seem to be trying to outdo each other with production. Uh, we really just want people in 20 seconds just to make a comment, make a complaint, ask a question. Uh, but some of them have turned into, well, events. Yeah. It wasn't really intended, but we appreciate all the we work. We do appreciate. That you, yes. We appreciate the effort. And guys, please keep it under 30 seconds, preferably 20 seconds, because we have to filter through all of them. And if it is too long, we, we will unfortunately not have enough time to go through them. So um, we appreciate the effort that all of you have been making. Oh, yeah. uh, try to keep it less than 30 seconds, around 30 seconds, and um, we're Gucci, as Tim likes to say. All right. Um, let's Do start. I say that? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? I don't think so. He's a very fashionable man. Underneath, not underneath the shirt. Apart from this shirt, he's definitely very fashionable. What does the shirt say? I'm a bit worried. What does that say? Is it rude or? I don't think so. It's got some Japanese words on it. It's okay. like one of those shirts that you buy, you don't really know what it means, but it just looks cool. I should have checked. And then just hope that it's not offensive. All right. Right, Tim, the first video sent in today is from a Bob. What's Bob got to say? Hi, this is Bob in Canada. I enjoy the show and I hope to be in Thailand in a couple of weeks. My question is, although I have a smartphone, uh, I understand we have to put a an app on our smartphone when we come. My wife doesn't have one. What does she do? Enjoy the show. Right, thank you for the message, Bob. I can feel the chilly weather from here. Wow, it is yes. snowing there. Uh, I hope that's a backdrop. Otherwise, yeah, you're gonna have a very big heating bill. I don't really have a, a, an exact answer for that. Uh, other people have asked us the same question. Uh, I'm sure the people at the immigration and the uh, d disease control will have an answer and uh, maybe they'll offer you a, a bracelet or something yeah. otherwise you do have to download the more china app which we carry on our phones which pretty much uh, tracks where we are and alerts us to anything we need to know uh, it's not there to track you they don't really care where you're going but if you do find yourself in harm's way in regards to COVID, at least uh, it's a way that they can alert you about the situation. I don't have an answer. Um, all right. Uh, but if you, if, once you get into Thailand, tell us what happens. Yep. All right. Let's move on to the second video. Who's from Larry? So I crop Jay and Tim. This is Larry again in Chicago. Just saying you aren't the only guys that wear some rather crazy looking shirts. I think Tim would look good in his shirt walk in the beaches of Phuket. Uh, I'd be glad to get rid of it. I'd better send it to you if you would like. Bye, Lona. Sawadee crap. Right, thank you for that video message, uh, Larry, uh, as well as a great uh, T-shirt. Um, but as you can see, we've stepped up our shirt game. Oh, yeah. We're going to be having a different shirt every day, and stay tuned to find out what we wear, because soon enough, uh, by the end of the year, you will be able to purchase these shirts that are actually being made by one of our editors, uh, Num's family. Yes, I don't think Num makes them, but the no, family... No, not Num, yes. They're in the business of making these outrageous shirts. Yeah. And they've got, uh, well, quite a few different styles and varieties. We need to decide which ones we're going to sell online, but we will be selling them online. Num... Do you have a, Norm? Do you have a moment? I just got to, well, this is a spontaneous. An impromptu. Asking, asking Norm the question. So here he comes with one of the other shirts. He has a thousand of them. So uh, the question is, where are these shirts made? Which part of the country? Uh, in the northeast. Isan. Northeast, Isan. In, in hey. The, Roy Et? Yeah. So they're made, and is it a family business? Yes, sir. Do you have a whole lot of, what, Cambodian sweat workers or something? No, no, no. no. My mum. <laughs> Just your mother? Yeah. Your mother makes all the shirts? Yes. What if we get hundreds of inquiries, hundreds of... Yeah, uh, that's going to be my mum. Oh, okay. So Norm's yeah. mum makes Super the shirts. Mom. <laughs> Super mum. Super mum, yeah. Nice. Fantastic. Thanks, yeah. Norm. Yeah. All right. There you go. It's yeah. literally a family business. There you go. Um, so, cool. Um, he's jazzed us up, hasn't he? All right, let's move on to the third video uh, for today. It's from Greg, all the way from Brisbane. 
Good day, Tim and Jay. Greetings from Brisbane in Australia. I love watching the show. Keep up the good work. In fact, watching it now. Um, don't let the haters get you down, Tim. Keep it up. You're doing a great job. And uh, I like the number Jack shirts, Jay, so don't be discouraged. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And a good day to you, Greg. Uh, thank you for the lovely message. Uh, thank you for the support. We love hearing your support. Uh, we and, and we know we have a lot of supporters out there, as well as a lot of haters, and it's all right. It's all good. Life is good. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll get on to my first comment from Gordon Fleming, who says we would really like to see all residents in Thailand vaccinated as well as all residents in Australia vaccinated for COVID-19 virus. We will feel more confident to visit Thailand. Interesting comment there from Gordon. I mean, do you think people are looking at Thailand's vaccination levels to decide whether they're going to return to the country or not? Is this a factor or is it actually when the bars reopen? Which one is going to be the, the factor that's going to make people decide to book the ticket? I don't think it will be the necessarily the vaccination rate because if, if you're a person who really wants to go out for a holiday and you're willing to go through the risk of traveling and, and you know entering a whole other country, then I, I, I guess you're a lot more daring than other people who are not willing to take that risk. So I, I think that would be the last thing on their mind. They just want to enjoy their holiday. Yeah, I agree. Cool. All right. Uh, my first comment is from, excuse me, as I scroll down, uh, is from Greg Hanna, who says, your hello sounds like Mrs. Doubtfire in the movie when she starts a TV show. Every time you do that, I have a Doubtfire flashback. Uh, thank you, Greg, for that uh, message. I, I picked this message in particular because um, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire was played by Robin Williams, who is one of my favorite comedians uh, and, and the late uh, Robin uh, not Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Robin yeah. Williams. Yeah, yes. Robin Williams. I, I, I got confused for a second. But yes, thank you for that comment, Greg. Speaking of uh, actors, yesterday we were trying to figure out who the other actors were in The Beach because everybody says uh, The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yes, I found the answer for that too. Uh, we found out that Tilda Sw oh, Swindon, Tilda Swindon, Swindon yes. was uh, one of the other actors and the British actor, whose name I couldn't remember, I got the Robert right, it was Robert Carlyle. So thank you very much for the people that reminded us. Right. Scott Thompson says, I sincerely wish the... Oh, we did that one. Yes, we... Oh, no, we didn't. Scott, OK. I sincerely wish the Thai people you could visit the US and see for themselves the truth. If you could go to places like Texas and Florida with some of the lowest C-19 numbers in the country, you will see life back to normal. Well, Scott, as it happens, both Florida and Texas are number two and number three in the United States, with only California ahead of you for the number of COVID infections and COVID deaths. Yes, in both those uh, states and all other states in the US, we're glad to say that the case numbers are coming down. But uh, for you to say that uh, the lowest C-19 numbers in the country is just factually incorrect and uh, just pushing a ridiculous narrative. All right, moving on. A comment from RS, who's a Tiger member. Thank you for being a Tiger member, RS. Alan just totally nails it. Good one, Alan. We need to see a Caitlin and Natty show as Tim and Jay are on site asking people questions and doing on the spot Q&A. Uh, firstly, RS, uh, yes, I think he's talking about Alan R who sends in the big oh, yes. production videos. Yes, Alan should be working here. He, he should basically. We'll he's amazing. Rid of Jason and Chai and yeah. uh, Tan Alan, and the other editors. You. We need your talents. Yeah. We need your production value. He could host the shows yes. and edit them. Almost definitely. And we can just go and uh, make crotons and yeah. float them down the river. He's already got the shirts and the mugs and everything. He's well rehearsed. Sure. Um, as well as uh, Caitlin and Natty, uh, your wish has come true, RS. Their, uh, their video is actually going to be coming out today and they're going to teach you how to make a croton in three easy steps at your home. It's going to be biodegradable, it's going to be environment friendly and useful because tomorrow is Loi Kratong. So you could even do Loi Kratong at your home anywhere in the country, including uh, Scott in Florida or Texas, wherever he comes from. Uh, you could make a Kratong and float it down your local bayou in the south. I've been to the south of the US. Very, very pretty area. 
Stuart Ritchie says, make the bars and clubs open on December the 15th. At least some people might come for Christmas. It's nothing to do with COVID. Why are they still remaining closed? And I think everyone knows it. So Stuart, I think, is a part of this conspiracy, I suppose you would call it, that the Thai government are somehow trying to stop tourism that comes for the, the, the bar sort of culture here. I don't really believe that. There's a lot of uh, Thai politicians and big families that own the beverage companies, that uh, own lots of big bars and some of the biggest nightclubs. A lot of high sos are into that part of the business in Thailand. So for the government to be restricting access for those uh, for tourists to come to the country by somehow prolonging the bans, I don't think is correct. I think there's some sort of narrative that the, the government wants to be seen as so sort of having some control over that, but we all know that there's very little control when things are sort of fully open, very little control indeed. So I'm not sure if, uh, if you're right there, Stuart. I, I don't think there is any conspiracy to, to keep the, uh, the, the bars closed. All right, I've got a comment here from Wasana Hammersley, who says, been here two weeks, went out and ate out almost every day, and they never asked for vaccinations proof, but they do ask you to sign your name and phone number which most people don't even bother to do. They do have a hand sanitizer everywhere, and some places they also take your temperature. Uh, thank you for the uh, update, uh, Wasana. I believe um, wherever you're coming from, you are now in Thailand, but yes, you're right. Um, generally, uh, very rarely do does anyone ask you for proof of vaccinations, but yes, um, as you enter some malls uh, or some shops, they ask you to write your name down, but they don't you know, regulate it or they don't enforce it. If you're the only one coming through the door, possibly they, but if there's like 10 people coming through the door, they let most people um, go by. I think the temperature taking, you hold your hand up to the, the temperature machine, that is very common. I'm yes. seeing that a lot more common. I don't see the sort of the holding the, the gun thing up to your head anymore. The only place I've been asked for vaccination certificates is at the airport when I check in for a flight. Okay. All right. Neil Dutton says, how do you fully vaccinate a porous transient megacity like Bangkok? Discuss. So we will, Neil. Uh, there was a story yesterday, I think, on Thailand News Today that the government's trying to get 100% of Bangkok vaccinated by the end of the year. Now, 100% is a ridiculous target because he's right, with a porous, transient megacity, there's people coming and going. They'll never be able to get it to 100%. I think the intention there is to try and get as many people vaccinated as possible, but to say 100% oh, yeah. is... Or at uh, least ba all Bangkok residents. Yeah, and there's going to be some people who will simply say, no, I don't want to be vaccinated for whatever reason. There's a lot less of that... Uh, vaccine hesitancy here in Thailand than there is in places like the US, for example, where there's a good solid chunk, like 30, 40 percent of people who say, no, I don't want to be vaccinated. But in Thailand, I think they'll probably get up to maybe 90 percent in the city. As for the rest of the country, well, many of the provinces are still not even up to 50 percent yet. All right. Right, Tim, moving on to a comment from Itadakimasu. I apologize if I've got your name wrong, but Ita Dakimasu is talking about um, the poster that we were talking about yesterday regarding Andrea Bocelli and Gam, who has replaced Lisa since Lisa will not come. They've picked a Thai singer, Gam. Uh, Ita, Ita Dakimasu says, I think they'd have a better response if the female singer was Bami. Do you know who Bami is? Are you aware of Thai music? I've got a funny feeling you're going to tell me. That's right. She is a, I believe, a half Swedish, half Thai singer. Very popular, very famous in uh, Thai music. She was a, a pop singer. Uh, makes very good uh, emotional songs as well, just like every other singer in Thailand. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you for the comment. Bami is a very famous uh, and a very great singer. However, I think you should give uh, Gam a chance. She, is, she has a very powerful voice and I think she'd have a great duet with Andrea. Who is going to have the, the best sort of uh, frisson with uh, Andrea Bocelli? Who's the one who can do the operatic numbers? Gam. Gam. Definitely. Okay, she, she has a more powerful, stronger voice, in my opinion. We still have the question is, is he actually coming in person? Because the poster doesn't say anything about exactly Andrea, where. Andrea, done deal. When. Done deal. How you get tickets. Not important. 
Cloggy Bischop says, Tim said often that Thailand is leading the way in reopening in Asia. Now Sri Lanka, India and Cambodia all open for tourists this month. No restrictions. Visa online. Perhaps he could mention this since those countries are leading the way today. Yes, it looks like Thailand, even though it led the way with firstly the uh, Phuket sandbox, the other sandboxes and then the Thailand pass, is starting to languish behind if they continue with all the paperwork and the current restrictions. So even though they were the, uh, the leaders, it seems at the moment they may turn into a follower and the government won't like to be in that situation. So my thinking is that they may be shamed into dropping a lot of these restrictions earlier rather than later. All right, I've got a question, uh, comment here from Maxiano Acosta who says, and by the way, Jay does not look like a jump lumberjack. He looks more like a retired Puerto Rican factory worker living in Miami. Especially with that shirt. Yeah, exactly. I take this as a compliment. I'd love to be in Miami post pandemic. Retired factory worker. Yeah. From Puerto Rico. Okay. So uh, Scott Rawdon says, wait, Europe is in new CV-19 wave of infections as Thailand opens up to European tourists. Patia, this is a warning for hard times ahead. So Scott uh, on the train about the people infected coming back into the country and making a, a fourth, be a fourth wave in Thailand. So at the moment, of course, you have to have a PCR test before you depart. You have to have another test when you arrive, even if you use the test and go, which is the most lenient, uh, as long as you have got the inoculations for COVID-19. But uh, Scott says, you're letting the Europeans in. Patia, watch out. All right. Um, this We've is got a fleet of uh, pigeons. That's right. <clears throat> Walking around outside our, our doors. Yeah, we, uh, you might not be aware, but we're actually surrounded by windows all um, across this office. And for some reason, there are about eight pigeons on the ledge of our window. They're fans of the show. Yeah, definitely. They're keeping a close eye on what we're doing. Of course. I think they're looking at even selecting a shirt. Maybe, the, guys, uh, I know you can send your videos in, but no messenger pigeons, please. For whoever's <laughs> sending these pigeons, we are not into messenger pigeons here at the Tiger. However, we, we do support it. Um, right, here's a comment from a story taken about Chinatown reopening uh, in Bangkok. Thomas Keonig says, if you enjoy intense crowding and the heat always seems 10 degrees hotter than any other part of town, then you'll be happy that uh, Chinatown's reopened. Um, Tim, uh, talking about Chinatown and places like Chatuchak Market, which, you know, they're highly you know, dense, uh, concentrated, concentrated. That's the proper word, a concentrated amount of shops in one area. Do you like going to these kind of places? Because it really does feel like the hottest place in town. Well, uh, look, unless you've been to Chattachak Market, you haven't really experienced Bangkok because oh, yes. it is sort of unique. Firstly, the, the types of shops that they have and just the whole environment. It is very... Uh, it's the mother of all night markets. Very, very sort of close feeling. I, I've been there several times at different times of the year as the pigeons have races around the ledge. Uh, it, it is a bit of an experience where you take a big deep breath, you go in and you shop like crazy for about five minutes, then you run outside and get some fresh air and a drink and then you get back in there. Uh, yeah, some of these markets can be certainly in the like February, March, April, May when it gets very hot can be <laughs> pretty unbearable and you're going to need to uh, take a fan with you or, uh, I don't know, a portable air conditioner. It does get pretty hot. All right. Uh, here's... I have one last comment. How many do you have? I've got two more. Okay, go for it then. Okay, Robert Gray says, be careful of going to short-time hotels as there could be spy cameras to record and display your activity for financial gains. So, yes, Good. there are these alleged short-time hotels where you don't pay by the day, you pay by the hour. And uh, Robert is suggesting to have a bit of a look for spy cameras just in case you, in case you turn up on somebody's OnlyFans account. Yeah, as, as much as people would like to sell your footage, Robert Gray, depending on whatever activity you get up to, um, I doubt it that they'd make any money by selling your footage. We don't, well, Robert could be a stunner for all we know. He could be. He could be. could be a star. All right. I, I take back what I say. Robert Gray, thank you for the warning.
Right, my last comment for today is uh, from a story that was about flooding uh, that's going to be coming uh, during Loi Kertong Festival and uh, how it's still, the flooding levels are still rising. Um, Nigel Joey Leggett says, that will come in handy. Sit in your lounge and float your kertong out through the window. Oh, very handy. Very handy, indeed. The flooding couldn't have come at a better time for... Nigel, always the optimist. I like optimistic people. Parts of southern Bangkok and Samut Prakan, yeah, you'll just be able to lean out the window and float no, your kratong no, away. Kratong. And then just close the window and then just watch it float away. So, yeah, this is a big problem. We, I predict, in six months' time, this is going to be one of the big hot topics, the flooding in Bangkok and the fact that the BMA are probably won't do anything. They're going to be saying things like, oh, well, you know, just wear Wellington boots or... Um, Stop the buses are belching black smoke. That'll fix it. Yeah. It's a much bigger problem. It's going to take uh, a lot of time. Mac says, OK, where do you install adequate ventilation in an open-air bar? Stop the BS and get on with it. So, yes, it looks like a petition put together by the Nightwish Group and uh, submitted to the Pattaya City Council and the Chonbury Municipality has had a certain amount of success and they are going to allow some sort of reopening for the Pattaya bar scene from December the 1st. But there's going to be quite a few restrictions and they're saying in, including better ventilation. So as Max says, how do you improve the ventilation in an open air bar? They won't be able to be called bars, they'll have to be called restaurants. restaurants yeah. They'll have to have social distancing. They'll have to have a lot more illumination, so none of these dark, dingy bars anymore. Brightly lit bars. So I'm sure that'll be doing a lot to attract people back to the bar scenes, yeah. having a beer and a few chicken McNuggets. Yeah. All right, and those are all the comments that we have for today. If you enjoyed the episode, please subscribe to the channel. Almost 50% of you have not subscribed, so this is a request from Tim. Look at him. He's miserable. He wants you to subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you to Jason behind the buttons, and thank you to Shy editing over there on the side. And thanks to the pigeons, our cheer squad. That's right. Go pigeons. No messenger pigeons, but you can send in video messages. Uh, However, thank you for watching the video as always every day. We'll see you tomorrow.